Hello everyone! I didn't realize this was coming out, so we're reacting to this now and I'll post it like a bunch of days later. Uh, this is a Cabela game, and I'm already seeing C4 and a revolver. That looks like a mag, some sort of gun. Why did I say some sort of gun? Of course it's a gun. Anyway, Fable, what are your thoughts on this image? Uh, I don't know. I Last... literally don't really know what I'm looking at, and and uh, apparently there's a rat gat, maybe? There's not going to be a rat gat. But I think I played this game. I think I oh, did. Man. There's no rat gat. I'm not interested. Oh my god. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Yeah, you're having to use C4 to blow a place open. What the hell? And it, Cabela's dangerous hunts. It's a safari, alright. What the hell? Oh my god, he last turned into a hyena. Oh, because there was hyena jump scares in the last Cabela game. It was Cabela's Dangerous Hunts for the very first time. Dangerous yeah. Hunts 2013 is a magical game. Yeah. Summed up, it's the story of a psychopath out to kill any animal larger than his car keys. Underlying <laughs> strange lore implications. The whole Honestly, it may have seen like a cornate berserker in some ways. Yeah. It was kind of hilarious how many animals he just murdered for no reason, and for some reason all the animals were out to kill him. I'm pretty sure when you start killing animals with a gun, they all start running away, you know? Yeah, but the Amos just got weird. Cabela's got really weird. I guess they didn't, they, they like you said before, they're trying to capture the Call of Duty, audi Call of Duty audience, and that's not going to work out. True, and it's all through the lens of a major retailer. I yeah. said that I thought it was the greatest hunting game ever made, and I still think that. But people did ask, why not do Dangerous Hunts 2011 first? Yeah, I think... There are a few reasons for that. For one, I play this the one. game had some sequences that are basically the test versions of the 2013 ones. The game oh. plays a lot more like a traditional rail shooter, and unlike 2013, it never came to PC. And emulation had its own pile of quirks. Ah. But with time, all has healed, and we can properly enjoy this 2013 companion piece. Just be warned, this may have only raised more questions. Okay. Okay, let's take it from the top. Well, this, this is a game that I played with that really dumb control. Like, basically, it was a bunch of kids that were bored, and we only had, like, this game in an Xbox that they were allowed to use, and this weird controller that was not really very good, that was shaped like a gun. Just like 2013, the main menu music is incredibly honest. Okay. Why is it a slasher sound? Ah, uh, that's what we like to see in hunting games around here. It's like Many Dead Space. Music that gives me fond memories of the alien opening. I <laughs> have to see what my favorite sporting goods store has for me this time. Anyway, oh, wonderful. The has the option of cartoon mode. The what? The definition of cartoon here is loose. If you want everyone to look unfinished and terrifying, I guess I could recommend it. But what the hell? I don't remember this at all. What the hell? We're going to skip this our first way through. There is something familiar about that picture, but we'll worry about it later. New campaign, okay. normal difficulty. Keep your Let's see where this goes, Fable. I don't want this thing to hear us coming. All right. Headlamps on. Okay, maybe I didn't play oh, this. on the cold open in the subterranean elephant graveyard. Or maybe something else. Get a load of that. What the Gather hell? the first hunters to come this way. And this is where you get your first meeting with the control scheme. You look around and aim like a rail shooter, but you still control your legs separately. Which is about as uh, bad as it looks, but it does give it some advantages over 2013. That's which janky. We'll talk about a little later. I'm starting to get a bad feeling. This is very this janky job. looking. They're not paying us enough. What was that? Hyenas. <laughs> Fable, the hyenas are here. Not hyenas. the hyenas. We got that. Is hunting us. Take it easy, and Becky. I don't believe in fairy tales. What? It's probably just. Kill the lights. Why would you kill? About this. Why would you kill the lights? They can see better than you in the dark. See, nothing to worry. About. Oh, oh what the hell is that? Run. I don't know. Why is there a Wendigo here? <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't know where the hell there's a way to go. What the hell is this? I don't know. 
This is hilarious. That's how you know because they decide to kill the lights and now there's windigos. This is escalating so hard. Yeah, like, this is escalating a lot faster than the other one. What the hell? It's escalating way too hard. I set foot on my family's land. My father was never an easy man to get along with. But I knew how much this I don't even know what's going on. I had no idea is your what was father the wind in those cold words. I don't know. We're co I'm watching this the same as you. No idea that my life was about to change forever. So this all fed into a 20-year time skip. Where you wow. listen to an old man marvel at nature over Lord of the Rings music. It's a bit jarring after the cryptid attack and brooding Troy Baker. Yeah. We these what the hell? You boys were wait, wait, wait. What was the point of that? Pups. I had to carry you up the trail on my shoulders. You wanted to hold my rifle. But your hands were too small for the trigger. Hang on, there is some unpacking to do, but that voice. Hmm. Oh, it's the Watch same you one? Know, but you don't have a shot yet. Wow. That's Dad from 2013's voice. Like, he's speaking a little more folksy, and the microphone isn't quite up to snuff, but it's him. I checked. Yeah. I guess they oh, just wow. have to play the dad across both games. He's starting off strong this round. Regaling us with a story mm -hmm. about how his young son wanted to hold his gun, but his fingers were too small for the trigger means that he tried that shit. And <laughs> I'm really fucking unhappy to see a mountain lion already. <laughs> Our ancestors were among the first settlers to lay eyes on those hills. For seven oh, generations, boy. the Rainsfords have hunted these woods, fished in these streams. This land is in our blood. Okay, so this time he's Samson Rainsford instead of, uh, other dad. Other dad. The wind is talking. It says, welcome home. All right, he might be a bit quirky, but he loves the outdoors. Please be a normal okay. field trip. <laughs> I thought I heard the wind say something about- With the frizz? No way! <laughs> Surfing on Saint Saint. I can't remember the whole song. Sandwich before we hump all the way out here? I don't know what passes for hunting with those yahoos in town, but up here we do things differently. No eating, no join, and so help me if I hear that cell phone of yours go off. Oh, oh. no eating allowed on this hunt. The story is framed that your brother Adrian is the cool, skilled hunter, and your character, Cole, is the one who sucks. You oh. spent too long with city folk things like electricity and cooking. <laughs> so of course, Dad makes you prove yourself. Shoot some icicles, uh, shoot some Alaskan pineapples. I don't know what those are. Those Dad are pretty big, though. Know. practice with a flock of geese. Dad needs to know I'm committed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. The of course, you'll never be the marksman your brother here is. Really? Uh, I suppose that... Really? <laughs> oh my god, he pulled out a shotgun. <laughs> he pulled out a shotgun and decimated the local geese population. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I played this one. I played this one. I played a bit of it until we had to stop because it was goofy as hell and we didn't really Can't care. Helped. You favor your mother's side of the family. She wasn't cut out for this country. No, oh, I expect she's more comfortable down south with her shopping malls and tofu salads. What? What about you, boy? You turned vegetarian yet? <laughs> the fuck is this? Yeah. I also love the stare at the ground and shame camera work. Like I didn't just send over a dozen geese straight back to hell. <laughs> it's interesting how similar the setup is between this game and 2013. Family hunting trip in Alaska with your dad and brother. You're supposed to be the bad hunter. It may be yeah. missing a monster attack in the 80s, but we are just one bear killing dad scene away from almost complete alignment. However, where Jacob was allegedly just going on a fun hunting trip, by the end, you're wondering what the hell park rangers actually are in this setting. What? Because Jacob is a conservationist in the same way that Doomguy is a conciliator. <laughs> Here. It's true. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Me and Mandalore have a cert same sort of tone of voice, but I just hear the amount of gruffness in, yeah, this is bullshit. What the hell is going on here? Here, there is something immediately weird about the Rainsford family. Yeah? My father brought me here on my 18th birthday, just as his father brought him. For 200 years, every son of this family... 200 years? ...by a hunter's rite of passage, as was the custom of the local tribes. We've heard this story a hundred times, right. Don't interrupt me, boy. 
You listen up. Today isn't just about coal. It's about the future of this family. What do you mean by that? We own the land you're standing on and everything you can see. One it sounds day, like it'll all be yours. But it's... only if you can okay, prove Mufasa. yourself worthy of that legacy. You can start by showing proper respect for this family's traditions. I'll make you proud, sir. Kiss ass. <laughs> well, call him a I kiss have ass. No doubt about that. Looking like a Scooby Doo villain doesn't help his case, but his <laughs> words seem extremely loaded. What's happening yeah. should be straightforward, but with his delivery and tone, it sounds like whatever happens is out of his hands. Why is the future yeah. of the family at stake when Adrian seems perfectly fine to carry on the mantle? Also, the family traditions are based off of copying the local tribes. Okay. If you the land, I'm guessing they're not around anymore. Maybe yeah. Maybe it's due to their not eating while hunting tradition. <laughs> I doubt it. So to further <laughs> prove himself, Cole must take down a 6x6 six six elk. Also known as a royal bull elk. Oh! Hopefully you can track it down with your hunter's sense, which is a- Oh god. What the fuck? Okay, let's talk more about playing this thing. My hunter's sense could be broken, but either way, classic is a lot more digestible. In theory, this helps you track down animals, which you might do two or three times. In okay. reality, this is for finding collectibles. Oh. Have packs and piles of ammo around, but these usually aren't too tricky to find. What is tricky is the hidden targets and the experience antlers. You do what? have to be fairly close to highlight these, and while it can see through walls, a lot of I mean, deer do shed their antlers, but marksman targets can be well outside the, the use of range for this. Oh, no. Because at first it seems like you would slowly track animals with this, yeah. you know, like a hunt. But I'll say for now that it's mainly for item finding, and later becomes a lot more of a reactive ability, especially when it sometimes highlights objects of interest that you don't oh. actually do much with. As for the other Weird. collectibles, finding enough gives you more health, and you can level up to unlock more shooting galleries. I Wonderful. I hunt for journals since there are extra story bits there. So those are the side activities beyond obliterating wildlife. Time okay. To pop the elk. Oh right, headshots. Headshots Ugh. are not the ideal because if the animal's skull is still intact, you can get a trophy. What? Which gives a little bit of extra XP and health. Not a ton to really care about. But after a longer encounter with the beauty of nature, you can hold down the skull button to make all the skulls fly into your face. What? So if you want to be tactical, break their hearts, not their minds. Okay, the elk what is the dead. Hell? Not bad, bro. Well, that's a clean kill. Could be you got some of me in you after all, boy. Um, Quickly now. okay. We need to do this fast, while the blood's still warm. Why? What? Do what? Do what, yeah. I don't remember this. I played this once a long time ago. Kind of gross. Gross, boy. That there is a delicacy. What? Breakfast is served. Fresh elk heart. What? Bone appetit. Oh no. God, those squelching sounds. No. Can I try some? No. This here is Cole's heart. You'll get yours when the time comes. That's this is the spirit. Tastes good, don't it? I guess the older brother gets first dibs in the heart. What the fuck? I have worms in him that helped cause the divorce. <laughs> I have worms in him that helped cause the divorce. Killed and carried for miles up here. We need to get this bull hung and dressed before something smells. Dad, oh! Mountain lion. It was only a matter of time with them. You all right, yeah. Did they enter the territory of the mountain lion? I don't know. I think apparently it might have been after the their kill. I don't know. Possible. It's possible. Yeah. You never leave a wounded. All I understand about um, all I understand about mountain lions is that they are territorial, and that when dealing with them, never turn your back to them. So you gotta kind of yeah. like slowly. Because to uh, them, that that is the actions of the prey. Basically. Yeah, you gotta kind of like look in their direction and make your way back mm -hmm. while, while trying to get out of their territory. But I don't know if you're supposed to scream, but you're not supposed to do anything to show that you're that you're prey because they will jump on that. Yeah, that's why there's videos of kids at zoos with their uh, uh, back to the glass and the big jungle cat immediately tries to, you know. Yeah. I think Cole just saved your life. You never leave a wounded animal wow. in the woods. He's so pissed about it. You shoot to kill. Come on. 
article was just no excuses, no exceptions. Wow. Cat's heart right now. <laughs> you I got me a divorce. I have to play my Game Boy Color and watch the Bulls play. When really, my heart is in nature, and I want to take nature's heart and eat it raw. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is Pandora talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> the game is changing him. Looks like you're going home with two trophies today. This isn't about trophies. A wounded predator is a deadly trophies. serious matter. Pain makes the beast violent and unpredictable. True. In fact, I am reminded of every time I look in the mirror. Introspection? How come you never talk about those scars, Pop? You got those in Africa, right? It appears we have uninvited guests. Wait, like what? Poachers. What? Oh, God, not poachers. What if they kill our animals? <laughs> in fact, a lot more than the Looks like they're dead. There's the Winnebago. I don't think there's a Winnebago around here. Oh god. Yeah, not poachers, hikers. All oh. dead, not by mountain lion. Even dad, whose idea of fancy living is hiding between the aisles in Home Depot, has no idea what did this. But you are free to explore on the camp for clues, which is mainly collectibles. But you can find a little note about dad. Mark okay. tells me the land we camped on belongs to Samson Rainsford. Well, Rainsford is something of a legend in these parts. An old school mountain mm. man who spent half his life hunting big game in Africa. That checks out. Nothing yeah. groundbreaking there. But finding the grizzly tracks opens a lot of questions. Oh, a grizzly bear. It's a grizzly bear. No doubt about it. A grizzly? Something wrong, Pop? Nothing. It's just, it's what? just not what I expected. So he did know something. Actually, for his entire ancestral land spiel, he spent a lot of time in Africa. I don't think the ancient tribals were taking spirit airlines to hunt across continents. <laughs> yeah. Regardless, so everyone agrees the bear must die. It seems your brother doesn't agree. Except Cole, apparently. Oh, give me that look, Cole. I'm not your kid brother anymore. I can track and shoot better than you. I'm going after that. Oh my god. Don't oh, do stupid. I need to. Oh my god, this is Luke all over again. But before Luke, but still. If you have a yeah. problem with that, Cole, feel free to hike back to the lodge and pack your bags. But if you walk away now, don't you ever come back. Wow. And the stare down of shame returns. Adrian is the one who should be doing this. The guy just hears a bear, fires off his gun, and causes an avalanche. Wow. That's exactly why you don't get to taste the heart, Adrian. <laughs> why you don't get to taste that forest might be home to predators even more dangerous than ourselves. Oh, no. Oh. It's starting. Label, it's starting. It's starting. Wolves. Like him. Oh God, Liam Neeson is right about wolves again. <laughs> oh, God, Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> cool. The avalanche uh, separated Cole from his family and knocked him down into the haunted forest. And wonderful. I don't mean, ah, it looks spooky and there's a full moon. No. There are things you can't quite identify moving just out of frame, and the entire time you hear horrible ghostly wailing. Why? Which is sure confused with the sounds of the animals plotting against you. Sound of the animals plotting against you. That sounds like elk. Why is there a baboon here? The entire fucking circus escape? <laughs> what the hell? Fable, did your yeah. circus escape? Yeah, yeah, they did. Don't worry oh. about it. Oh boy, wonderful. And there's just the howling of the uh, woos. Oh, woo. Of the wolves. Not the uh, wolves. I your ground state, so watch me stand while I put you God in man, it. Money. <laughs> We're gonna stay in the <laughs> I love that line. I need to hear it again. Watch me stand while I put you in it. Did an entire fucking circus escape? Go back. Alaska is a stand your ground state, so watch me stand while I put you in it. <laughs> At first, it's only oh a few skirmish wolves who look to be protecting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> God damn. Jesus Christ, Mandalore, are you okay? That's a pretty good line. Stone archways. What? I've also borrowed some of Dunlin's finest from Saruman to scout for him. And the worst <laughs> part about the wolves having some scouting birds Saruman. is that's not based on nothing. There have been plenty of sightings and studies of wolves and ravens cooperating in nature. Really? They can symbiotically hunt together yeah, for a meal. Yeah, it's actually which a thing. Does make sense. I did not know that at all. That's interesting. I didn't know wolves had a symbiotic relationship. Maybe I should make a friend with a raven. 
uh, VTuber or something. I mean, if you want to. Just know that in real life, uh, pl be as nice to ravens and crows as possible. Yeah, because they will They remember, not yeah. based on nothing. There have been plenty of sightings and studies of wolves and ravens cooperating in nature. They can symbiotically hunt together for a meal, which does make That's sense. That's kind of cool, though. Now, would they work together to defend the wolves' rundown vampire castle? <laughs> I'm having doubts about that one. Especially <gasps> we stepped into Castlevania Fable. What is going on? I'm so confused. Know. Why is there a I'm castle confused. here? Still the horse ghosts. I don't know, bud. I don't understand the. I don't understand the reveries of this. Oh, what the hell are those sounds? Oh, big wolf. I hate to say it, but I don't think these are normal wolves. Yeah, no. Cabela's definition of a normal wolf. Are they real? Probably. Oh, no, wait, like worse Pokemon. yet, are they oh, werewolves? A oh, werewolves? Yeah, or why wolves? Oh my god. They might be. Well, Anyone's the adventure time you get that reference? Yes, I get the reference, Fable. Monsters. But these ones trap you in their midnight fortress for an ambush. Oh, wonderful. And they have red eyes. Yeah, no, oh my god, they are, uh, they are, they are wild wolves. Problem, especially with no. the audio in this game works. Like, going back Quit, to the Quick, get the cosmic owl. Oh my god. Kong wolves are a huge problem, especially with how the audio in this game works. They, wait, 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 what do you call them? Night Fortress for an ambush. I'm sorry, I have to go back every time I miss yeah, them. No, mm -hmm. those were glowing red eyes. Viet Cong wolves are a huge problem. Viet Cong wolves. The audio in this game works. Like Viet going back Kong. to the elk hunt. At this point, the elk is maybe twenty meters away from me, but okay. it'll trigger audio that makes the elk sound like it's in your ear. But really, it's nowhere near that close to you. So instead of a single elk whispering sweet nothings, take that effect and apply it to an entire cohort of undead wolves. Oh no. Sure. They're undead. Towards an objective. I mean, what else would they be? doesn't work well for the wolf mosh no. the wolf I've mosh played this game before I'm using better equipment now but good god is this still hairy the wolves keep coming they're they climbing just... over walls to kill me oh they're my god the cliffs and the roof when do they end and I'm sorry but you might see I'm getting a lot of headshots not being an optimal hunter but like that said it's not about trophies thank god hunters like us are here instead of poachers <laughs> getting your shotgun back does make things more tolerable <laughs> but they're still relentless I will yeah. say that compared to their follow-up game, not having the gun model does weirdly make it feel better. Because their oh. gun model would roughly point to where you were aiming, but outside of aim down sight, it could be really jittery and awkward. So I oh. don't have that issue, but I've still got problems. Oh, of course. Oh! Another pack of wolves, Fable. What the hell is going on here? I don't know, I've lost the plot. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I wasn't expecting Dawn of War here. What the hell? Okay, now you escape Wolf Sylvania and Wolf Sylvania. Shake. Oh my god! Fuck off! Mountain Lion Fable. Why was there screen shake for that? It's just like Yamamoto said. Behind every blade of grass, a mountain lion. <laughs> what the hell? And while I'm trying not to get murdered, I'm finding the journals of those who came before, and they also point to something supernatural happening. What the hell? sound last night. A strange, high-pitched noise like a whistle. Mark said it was just a bird, but I'm pretty sure he's lying. Now I get to wonder, while crossing the barely stable frozen creek, if it was them or the wolves who set up the 800 bear traps. <laughs> I'm gonna guess the animals because these have not slowed down the wildlife at all. Yeah. We need actual landmines to deal with this wolf population. <laughs> it looks like the birds might listen, be setting them up listen. in front of me. Am I going crazy? I really hope that wasn't anything important, but I don't know why my fucking mouse screwed up. But yeah. I'm gonna go back and check to make sure I wasn't accidentally showing anything. Anyway, that's silly. I... I... Listen, we wolves are very good hunters. It's hard to keep focused while watching out for birds and bear traps. Hello, and Captain. I'm here to steal your gun. Audibly having duels in the no. Woods for the honor of fighting me. <laughs> oh, you fell. said I yesterday. <laughs> I said, hello, Captain. I hear you steal your gun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I said. I thought you said here to steal your job. No, I said, hello, Captain. I'm here to steal your... I'm here to steal your gun. 
Her way. <laughs> I've lost everyone. It's dark. What the I hell is going on in this forest? I should have stayed behind to help the others, but when I heard the screams, I, I panicked. I keep hearing that whistle. What could be making the whistle? A new animal? Is that behind it? At this point in the time, I don't know. The Emperor would still be alive, but well, he's in Africa. The only Alaskan mastermind was. Like, quite literally. Oh, quite literally, the, the mountain lions and the wolves are having fights over just to kill you. <laughs> this is insane. I don't remember it being this insane. Oh, this is making sense now. Why the hell does he look like bear from venomous snake? In that game's flashback or punish snake. The bear is already scarred. That could be from when he was sent here to subdue the wolves. We could be seeing that happening live, but the Mac, whistle are sound you still trapped in the snake? Are you still trapped in the dream snake eater? No. Too late. So that's control over them. Though it's more likely the bears start punishing them for their failure, as we've seen them do before, mm -hmm. and that whole thing went a little bit sour. Also, chronologically, this is two years before Jacob's first hunt, so the wildlife should be at or close to max strength since it's right before he showed up. That okay. should be obvious by the way the elk is tracking me as the wolves move in. <laughs> can, I rem can I remind everyone Mandalore is making this lore? I... <laughs> I. <laughs> he's trying to make sense of this game. <laughs> oh, how... I love the fact. I love the fact that in his lore he said it should. It's about a year or two before it comes to the star, so far it should be at full strength. Yeah, what Jesus the heck? Christ. The whistle. He's taking more thoughts into this than anyone else. A whistle, yeah, someone's calling them. Oh, it's the bear. I fucking knew it, and he doesn't have the scar yet. And I know I'm biased, but this game is making a lot more sense played after- He's playing the sun! <laughs> he has the picture! <laughs> of, no, of, of a bear with the bandana. And he's playing the- what? He's literally playing the song that you just said, Fable. 2013. At least when it comes to having nice prequel reveals. As for the actual Snake boss either? fight, there's not yeah. 2013. Can you, you hear it? When it comes to having nice prequel. The grizzly is here uh, on a mission from a yet unseen foe. Reveals. Time your attack. As for the actual boss fight, there's nothing to write home yeah, about. Yeah, I hear it. It's fun to try and drop icicles on him, but apparently he's a Primaris grizzly bear. What? He shrugs off shell after shell. He's a Primaris grizzly bear? Excuse me. Excuse me. You're excused. <laughs> But no, how does, the, how does he know it's a primary grizzly bear? Because apparently icicles don't affect it's him. He's just staying out of his way and slowly oh whittling God. him down. I did shoot him in the face a lot, but it did take me by surprise when it seemed like I actually killed him. But before you can confirm the kill, your brother shows up. Oh. Bro, that was unbelievable. I just got here. I wanted to help, but I couldn't get a clear shot. Dude, you alright? Yeah, no. completely correct. You look like you're about to have a stroke, man. Well, I wonder don't why. Me. Don't try to talk. You can tell me about it back at that. Yeah, house. you just fought a Primaris face, uh, wait, hey, Primaris man. bear. With the just... snake eater sound saying in the background. Well, he quite literally went through an entire wolf pack to fight a bear, to fight mountain lions, and was taken out by an avalanche originally. I haven't seen Dad since the avalanche. Right. I don't know where he... Did you hear that? The bear's not dead. He's calling for backup. Oh. The wolves! The bear's not... <laughs> <laughs> Why did you sound so scared when you said that? <laughs> because, what the hell is going on? I don't... was a shockingly calm wolf-devouring scene. Ten years passed. My father and I hardly spoke. Neither of us willing to forgive the other or ourselves for Adrian's death. Wait a second. My father retired to live in seclusion on his private game reserve in Uganda. Well, I made Uganda? a name for myself as a professional hunter. It's really all a remix. Special Alaskan family hunt, dad and two brothers. One yeah. quote-unquote rookie hunter, and the other determined hunter. In one story, dad dies by bear, one brother becomes a game hunter. In this story, a brother technically dies by bear, just yeah. wolf underlings, brother becomes big game hunter. Both families reunite in Uganda ten years later for a special hunt. But 2013 had this detail. What's the party in Uganda? I make it out every year for my dad's birthday. His favorite place to hunt when he was younger. He died before they opened it up again. 
So his dad died in 2003, but by 2011, it was opened back up for a new hunt. Okay. This all lines up so far, but why was Uganda closed down? Also, Samson Rainsford retired here. Uh. So much for the hardcore legacy of the Alaskan lands. Though if one thing can shake your yeah. job, the death of your kid would do it. True. After ten years without a word, my father Ten years. Soon, we would hunt together again. Okay. Not for sport this time, but for redemption. What? But how? The bear what is alive, is... but wounded in Alaska. Actually, no. Jacob's dad killed it in 2003. Does that mean that Samson knows about the Ugandan Ancient Ones and how things work? What? Because redemption sounds like targeting the culprit. Good to see you, Cole. It's been, what, ten years? Too long for a father to be deprived of company of his only son. Uh. I see you still have few words for your old man. <laughs> I can't blame you. Okay. Some wounds take more than time to heal. I'm glad you came anyway. There's no one I'd rather have at my side on this hunt. <laughs> Except maybe in Becky here. Actually, okay. his dad seems to have chilled out a lot. Yeah. The is just a healthy relationship with his father. Because he didn't have that before. Yeah. I've hunted all over the world. I've seen terrible things. Man-eaters. Predators driven mad by hunger and disease. <laughs> What? But I have never seen anything like what's happening where we're headed. Never mind. The attacks oh my began God. a few weeks ago. Whole families carried off in the night. What? Nobody knows what's doing the killing. Some say it's a pride of lions, driven to desperation by disease. Or oh crime. my God! Not again with the lions. Theory. I reckon I don't either. Honestly, I don't see why not. Make no mistake, son. These beasts we're hunting are pure evil. They said it. I know what you're thinking. Words like good mm. and evil have no place in the natural world. You'd be right about that. Okay. There ain't nothing natural about these. Hang on. Oh my god. Back in Uganda. Oh my god. Low health, low ammo. What a shit show. I am proud of the game for just admitting the animals are evil. If you <sighs> haven't played this, 2013 really made you fill in the blanks to... That was a bat sound effect. What the hell? If the wolves wasn't enough, the birds have to be vampiric too? I guess so. Oh my god, he's playing the Doom music! Oh my day. All the boars! Listen, boars are actually evil, but... Yeah, they're extremely invasive. Yeah, and the jaguars. And the water buffalo. And the vultures. The vultures will not even... Vultures yeah. don't even bother us! Yeah, they don't. They just eat dead things. Yeah, they literally just mind their own bit, their own business. The oh my god, it's a hippo. Eh, yeah, hippos are dangerous. <laughs> crap. How many animals can there be? How did Jacob have any left? <laughs> 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 he sounds so shy. It's amazing. <laughs> He sounds like me when I'm freaking out, just going, WHY?! WHAT IS GOING ON?! <laughs> Only in a much deeper voice, but dear god. It's so funny. It's just... holy... <laughs> oh my god, was that, was that a missile? Was that yeah. a missile drop? That was a pic- that was a... night vision picture of a bunch of... Oh. He is, I think, and also a see a short scene from Call of Duty Four. What the hell? <laughs> Did he just call it a missile drop, though? Yes. My question. He used a gunship. The animals might be acting No. <laughs> One of the most troubling <laughs> aspects of this case concerns the ineffectiveness of traps and poisons against these mysterious predators. It's as though these animals have learned to recognize and avoid such traps by sight. Oh, let's step back for a moment. Uh. While it is probably more linear than it lets on, the river delta feels sprawling. You can choose between multiple paths at points, but both will probably have snakes and or crocodiles. This uh. makes it one of the most useful sections to actually use hunter sense in. They're still going to spray venom in your eyes, just less often. Plus, there are times where hunter sense flat out will not work. Wow. staring directly at the footage now, it's still just a blur of being ambushed. I'm amazed they're singling out lions when every animal here was <laughs> mankind dead. The level design doesn't have much of a this is the designated whatever animal zone. It's unpredictable what you'll run into, which does keep things tense. Yeah. He's putting his paw in the glove box. 
<laughs> it's already extremely chaotic, but the game oh also has a sadistic streak. They're fully aware that you want to leave no animal alive, so they have some points where they do spawn forever. You can farm them for XP endlessly, but that's what they want. To drain your ammo away for the lions. What? Or for whatever other animal. No. No, that's a trick. Don't kill the water but Oh my god. The ideal Cabela's Safari. When you finally get to a radio to contact Dad, he says keep going. Link up again with Mbeki and keep heading to Dad's house. For the first time since the day Adrian died, oh I was no God. longer certain of my own place at the top of the food chain. The grasslands are... it's more of the same. But while on the trail, you get Mbeki's insights. I stopped the villagers from what? attacking a woman. They said the woman was a witch. And that she okay. summoned a dark creature called the Kaftar to prey upon them. Ah. I remember my grandfather speaking of the Kaftar when I was a child. You know what? Sure. It's a demon. The Black Lion Emperor, a, demon? a literal demon, would explain so much. But in Becky oh, says wonderful. this is called the Kaftar, the same creature he brought up in the intro, which is not the lion. This has thrown a wrench into me following the story. Last night I saw these creatures with my own eyes. They came from the savannah like shadows in the dark. Before okay. I, fire, I heard a strange whistling sound and the beasts fled as one. What? The villagers are right. Evil forces are at work here. Apparently the Obviously, dark the magic. Alive in Alaska, and maybe he did do the whistle there. But Jacob's dad blasted him in 2003, so he couldn't be doing the whistle here. It could be the whistle is some kind of power the Emperor uh -huh. Lion can pass on, but I'm not sure yet. What but the hell? Becky knows what's hey, going on. I like that he's trying to figure it out. out. He's trying his best to make sense of it, and it's just like, Dumb. no, stop. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Please stop. stop. You don't said any. Do they believe Attacks on their families are the work of a demon, the Kaftar. They say the Kaftar is a shapeshifter, half man, half beast, like a werewolf, only much worse. Then the locals Wonderful. seem to have the right idea. I see in your eyes you do not believe in such things as demons. But I ask you, what? What animal kills for pleasure? Even the famous lions of Savo were driven to kill by hunger. But I mean, some animals kill for pleasure. They play with their food sometimes, honestly. Uh, dolphins, uh, orcas, cats. Uh, cats, sadly, yeah. Uh, I can't think of anything else at the moment. But yeah, those are some of the animals that do. These yeah. beasts leave the bodies of the dead where they fall. I'll level with you and Becky. There's other reasons I agree it's a demon. Yeah. <laughs> what is more frightening? The thought of a beast with the mind of a man. Or a man with the soul of a beast. What? Ah. Well, you're dead now. The wound is infected instantly, and then Becky needs antibiotics. It's oh. It's cold to get him a ride. Oh my god. They did want my decals. <laughs> Maybe I should have played this first. I don't know anymore. Whose truck is this, anyway? Butchers using fires to cover their tracks. How? How are there still poachers? Does it even count as poaching if the rare animal's running five miles to bite you? <laughs> it's a high caliber exorcism. Who cares about the high ground? <laughs> high caliber exorcism. Us, so I guess we could have a little car chase. Wait, the poachers are after it. What the hell? Wait, wait, this isn't right. <laughs> we, we did this already. You can't even shoot the poachers. What? Oh god, this console was not meant for this kind of action. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it seems you sound so poachers? sad. It's like an actual beta for the I 2013 don't Stampede. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Why is it all happening again? I don't even know. It has the part where you almost fall out of the car, but no deagle this time. It runs badly, and they did the sequence better in the next game, so why stick around? Why do this twice? Make them move! Make them move by killing them! <laughs> A rhino. Oh, they reused the rhino fight too. This doesn't matter. But hey, and Becky's gonna be okay. Is he going to him? I spoke of before, you are much like him. My friend died a long time ago, but his spirit lives on in you. What? You should not have come to Africa. Oh, he's a poacher too, I guess. Hey, I, I don't know see you tired. I, I don't <laughs> know what's going on either. I'm tired, I'm tired Grandpa. 
Uh, the, the sun's getting really low, Fable. Go home. You will find nothing cool. here but death. Now that go home, shoots watch, you, and then tells you to go home. Yeah, yeah, totally, dude. Totally. Thank you. Yeah, what the hell? Now that opened a lot, and the night drags on, and there's an apocalyptic tone to everything. What? The full moon is back, just like the night Cole's brother died. And Becky's friend was the one who died in the cave in the start. Okay. He played that character. His spirit living on in you is 100% true. You are him. But is the huh. person your father also literal? Like... Is he a werewolf? Or could he mean curse as in it ruined his life? Or are there more meta layers to this too? Oh as my for god. The wildfire, it's not slowing down the animals much. If anything, there seem to be even more. I could swear their aggression has gone up too because look at this river of lions. Maybe river of lions. This is a better defense. However, the Kaftar is also a shapeshifter. <laughs> it could be hiding as any animal or any one. Who oh, was wonderful. whistling on the mountain that night? There might be a connection in plain sight. I give 2011 credit. It has the actual atmosphere of a good horror game. Uh, yes, but it's a Cabela game, so that shouldn't be a priority. <laughs> what the hell? And sure, it'll always lead to some animal jumping on you. It still makes me sad that they don't make these anymore. We do have more realistic and more fantastical hunting games, but none yeah. blurred the line quite like Cabela's did. It's a company that sells fishing gear, and they have an official game where you fight an ancient demon in Africa. It doesn't <laughs> seem like the kind of plot its clientele would be invested in, but I, I sure am, especially <laughs> since in Becky's journals only get more deranged. What? The destruction will be terrible, but we have no choice. We must act now before we are all dead. What? By the time you catch up to him, it's daybreak. He's still wounded, or wounded again, and his hiding spot looks like an old military base. Out what? here in the middle of nowhere where there's a demon rumor. What the, the hell? The soldiers were long gone. But as I would soon discover, a new army had emerged from the jungle to take their place. The fuck does that mean? Yeah, what the this hell? Is where I first met your father 30 years ago. It was a secret place. An evil place. He should have burned it to the ground. Why am I getting a military rifle in this level? Oh my god, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Fable. Fable. Fable? Oh no, Fable's dead. You got a military rifle, Fable. Oh no. Well, the connection looks fine. Uh, Mac. Right. Sorry, I'll be right back. I need to go, uh, I need to go pick up something for dinner. Okay, apparently now we're getting a military rifle in the game. Okay, question. Like, this is a legitimate question. This is supposed to be about hunting, yes? Yes. Why are we getting military-grade weaponry? We Re <laughs> weapon, you know what I mean. Yes, weapon we. I don't know why. He can't speak. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Anyway, why I don't we know. Military grade stuff. This is messed up. We're get we're in a military base for some reason, and apparently there's an army of animals guarding it. Perhaps you will find it here among the bones of the dead. I'm really not liking this talking, Becky. They call it the Nightfall Program. What? No. No, this can't be like it's a super. E a it's like a military base where they ran experiments on the animals. No, that can't be a thing. <laughs> oh my god, no! Training out here. More evil wolves or big cats? Jacob Cole. U.S. Park Ranger Corps. What? They're starting Bo <laughs> Boone Parasite Unit. What? Now he's just doing all the fucking Metal Gear references. He's still trapped in a dream, uh, snake eater. Oh my god. The baboons again, Fable! <laughs> it's so obvious now. Of what? course it's this. What the hell? I mean, they were actively jamming me in the 2013 game. I really should have snipped out the Baboon Super Soldier Project. 
They've what mastered the fuck? small unit tactics and try to suppress you as other baboons flank. Also, what kind of baboons are these? They're horrifying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm so confused. I wish I could get art like that, but I, I wouldn't know who to commission, but what the hell? I like the Metal Gear style, but I'm so confused right now. Take out the baboons. Was it, that cold I'll be right back, okay? that sounded like a monster? What? I'll, I'll be right back. I won't take that long. Or at least I'll try to hurry up. Okay. Or was that just the animal Have body fun with the super placed? baboon. I refuse to. Again. Whatever. Do this I? is what I wanted. No! Baboon Waco. Baboon Waco? Oh god. Oh! The best part is it gets way worse inside the base. Oh no. People bought this game for their grandpa. Yeah! I'm at a genuine loss for words here. Like, what human being can give justice to the baboon holdout firefight? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm very confused. Please help me. Please help me, everyone. Well, the soundtrack actually uses military-style drums. What? Oh, it does. Oh my god. It's the fact that it's so well done. I think that's the key. Like someone at Cabela's Corporate said Super Soldier Baboon, <laughs> no one was smiling or laughing. <laughs> someone in the C-suite had this as an actual recurring nightmare and wanted to do it justice. The downtime sounds like exploring an I can only laugh because it's so insane! What the hell is going on with Cabela's?! Fallout game. Oh yeah, it does kind of look like a Fallout game now. The only phrase that keeps going through my brain is, Why baboons? The Baboon King would still be alive, so maybe he sent them here to raid the armory. Why are you making lore for this game? Why? He's got an audio log. Just gotta catch up with him and I- Ah! There he is. Why do you want the audio log so much? Oh, what the hell? The Baboon Super Soldier base is full of landmines. <laughs> Why? Are the baboons? This is the iconic don't die by landmines or baboons section, and landmines what? are the trickier one. If you <laughs> the chain reactor you step wrong, you'll die fast. The thing is, you can't sneak through them, you have to blow some up. It's also not clear which government set up the baboon base. I would what guess Uganda, but maybe the Illuminati or something is involved and I just missed it. Whoever they were, they hired Samson and Mbeki to capture the Kaftar. At Why? this point, I think you have to conclude it's real. Locals say it's some kind of demon. As far as I can tell, we're hunting a new breed of hyena. We had no idea what, what was hell? waiting for us in that cave. After that, the program went off the rails. The research staff lost oh control. No. People started dying. They called in soldiers, but it was already too late. What? The screen undersold it. The baboons actually conquered this army base. And no oh my one god. For 30 no. Years. It's understandable since there are lion hurricanes outside and heavy trained baboons inside, but it could be the government buried this project under the floorboards and never wanted to speak of it again. Then they all charge and Becky. Maybe they remember him from the 80s or they were taught oh about him. He's dying of big cat infection and baboon scratches and demon energy and he has oh, taken huh? a lot. Your father ordered me to bring you to him but after what you did for me my conscience would not permit it. what i can order you, you? To kill the kaftar myself okay beware go the creature devoured your father's heart the evil lives on in his blood what the only cure is death. the only cure is death this is some roided up hyena what the fuck is going on? Are we gonna have to kill his father because he's become a demon somehow? This. As I stepped into the yawning mouth of the cave, I heard a sound like the laughter of devils echoing in the bowels of hell. So hyenas? I could feel eyes watching me from the darkness. Though whether it was my father's gaze I felt, or the eyes of the beast, I will never know. Looking back, there have been some interesting running themes. And Becky said Samson's heart and very blood were cursed. In the start of the game, he had Cole eat a heart. 
Eating elk heart wouldn't be that uncommon up there. Mm. Eating it raw certainly is. Yeah. Even raw liver is fairly risky. There's something ritualistic about the whole thing in a way that... Yeah, you're never supposed to eat raw meat. It's uh, really bad for you. There's a reason we cook it. Doesn't check out for just, oh, the hyena ruined your dad's life. Not to mention, the kaftar is an actual cryptid. But the legend comes from India and... Oh, the kaftar is a cryptid. Cool. Africa. Though the series isn't known for putting animals where they should be. <laughs> also, how is Mbeki protecting Cole by knocking him out in this war zone full of poachers and animals and wildfires? Yeah. Please respect Samson, and now Cole for helping him. But I think Mbeki planned to kill Cole, but couldn't do it when the time came. Probably Samson, too. He speaks very literally about everything, yeah. and I don't think he'd turn that off just to make an observation on your family. The spirit of Mbeki's old friend is in your body, and your father is cursed and may have already passed it along to you. I it's think wonderful. he was have to take down everybody when he got the chance, but then got cold feet. Whether it was out of mercy or fear, we'll never know. Welcome home, son. Oh, God. It's been too long since we hunted together. You're looting tons of ammo and blasting through old bunker doors, and all the while you can find the records of the military studying the Kaftar. They don't know if it's an aberrant or a long-lost species, but it can control other animals. What? That does explain the swarms of bats have to gun down with an assault rifle. Oh my the god. Are relentless. My only question is who gave who the animal control ability? The Black Lion Emperor, or whatever this hyena is. The cave paintings the hunters discovered suggest the Kaftar species has inhabited this area for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. Oh my That's god. That's not that long at all. Is it tied to a biblical event? You were the eldest, but... Our family name. What? Did Dad kill Adrian because he was younger? Yeah. What the hell? I loved your brother, Cole. I want you to know that. What the f is going on? I never met for Adrian to get hurt. I wanted to see my boys forged into men, as I was forged. Uh. I've got to admit, even after playing 2013, I didn't expect a baboon super soldier facility that yeah. immediately leads to Dagoth Earth speeches from your father. <laughs> Dagoth Earth speeches from your Oh, uh, that makes it funnier because I've been listening to like silly stuff from Dagoth Ur. Uh like people are people have been making like uh sound things from him and it's it's great. <laughs> It was covered in paintings and markings, but no stone structures, so I don't know if this is the ancient ones from before either. I thought the wrong son died that day. Could be wow. I was wrong about that. So what he didn't mean? kill him. Interesting. It all comes okay. full circle. Back to the bone zone from the very start. But now the paintings are obvious. They depict the hyena demon controlling the wildlife. Oh. There was always a method behind the madness. I never thought you'd make it this far. I can see now. I've been wrong about a lot of things. I can tell. I listen to him, Becky. He, he told me I lost my mind. You did. All these years, planning, preparing for this day. And now that you're finally what? here, I can't bear to watch another son die. What? You brought him here to kill him? Son, before it's too late. Come on, I'll show you the way out. Were they going to hunt the Kaftar together, or was Samson going to do something to Cole? The years of planning could mean he was training his entire family to come kill this thing, and all the Alaskan tribal connection was just a smokescreen. But oh the old blood ritual seemed important. That couldn't just be set dressing. I know I wasn't the father you wanted. Oh no. And I need you to know, Cole, how proud I am of the man you have- What oh the fuck? God, fucking baboon landmines. Here we go. Okay, that's a normal hyena. Oh, it was a normal hyena the whole time. Bet they feel silly. Okay, it's actually a horde of hyenas. Wonderful. They the Kaftar's harem, but I'm not entirely sure hyenas work that way. Yeah, frankly, they don't. The less I know about how hyenas mate, the better my life is. Yeah! It's a gauntlet of landmines and pissed off hyenas. 
And even though pacing wise, this feels like finishing things, it won't be the end of the story. What? I've arranged for one of the hunters, an American named Rainsford, to smuggle some of my files out of the country. What the fuck? With that data, I should be able to resurrect the program at a later date. We knew this wouldn't end things, but 2013 won't be the last safari. I stepped through the trap door and emerged in the hall of my father's house. What the? I think he had to have added this image. What the fuck? In that moment, the United States <laughs> Ranger. When I felt a strange mixture of horror and relief. My worst fears have been realized, but I knew then that I had finally reached the end of my journey. One way or another, the nightmare would soon be over. Do you feel like a contradiction? <laughs> yeah, I saw that! The go may not be what you think. You just have to finally <laughs> reached the end of my journey. One way or another, the nightmare would soon be over. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Lord. You put too much effort into this. There is something poetic about fighting it among all of Dad's taxidermied animals. Was it Dad or the Kaftar that really killed them? Maybe they're under the Kaftar's influence, or maybe it's a response to human presence in the area. For how much is explained, a lot is still left open. It's a fitting final battle, but not the most exciting. I mean, for all that demon hyping up, it looks like a big albino hyena. Yeah. But after a long hunt, we've reached the end. Shoot it in the face. What? I guess that's one way to kill it. Why does he look so similar to Jacob? He could pass for his brother and the photo looks even more like him. Is the Kaftar not physical? I... That's the end of the game. It's not as over the top action packed as 2013, but it makes me fear that game even more and I feel like I understand even less than I did. Does the universe mm -hmm. choose a Kaftar and Safari Hunter to endlessly circle each other forever? One master hunter no versus one master of nature until the end of time. I honestly don't know, but there might need to be another Safari. In fact, I've run numbers, and there are too many adventure games just to cover them on Halloween. It won't be all the time, but there's too many to talk about and more have uh, to come. Have a happy Halloween. I hope I didn't too. miss something. That's such a goofy way to kill it, too. What music are you playing at? What the hell is that? Let me get a closer look at this. Rainsford fail. Oh. What the hell? What is that in the background? Look right here. Oh. These are all the different. Oh, these are all the games he did for October. Oh my god. There's no art. Will there be a Dark Tide video? Mm. There will be more Warhammer videos in general in the next while. There's a lot of interesting games to cover there still, but I definitely needed a cleanser from it. Favorite scary moment in a non-horror game? If it's not a section or level in just a moment, then this one. Oh. What is the worst huh. Halloween candy? Easy. Wax lips. Even what? an Easter treat like Peeps that I hate, I could kind of get. Who on the planet is asking for wax lips? No I gotta agree to. with them. Would I move to Silent Hill or Ravenholm? Oh. Without a doubt, Ravenholm. I know what I'm in for there. I don't know the details of what to expect from Silent Hill, but I know it won't yeah. be a great time. Yeah, Before it's it never a great time. It scarred me as a kid. Some of you know the alien story, but there were other factors with that one. The best answer is an obscure made-for-TV movie called Peter Benchley's Creature. I had nightmares for weeks about sharks dropping down from trees to get me, and could always I, over that experience just yet. I have a, I have no idea what he's talking about with the game. I will be completely honest. I pressed the wrong button. Literally watch the ad. I don't care. What is the worst Halloween candy? Easy. Wax lips. Even an Easter treat like Peeps that I hate, I could kind of get. Who on the planet is asking for wax lips? Yeah. Nobody, that's who. Would I move to Silent Hill or Ravenholm? Without a doubt, Ravenholm. I know what I'm in for there. I don't know the details of what to expect from Silent Hill, but I know it won't be a great time. Any horror movie or game that scarred me as a kid. Some of you know the alien story, but there were other factors with that one. Mm -hmm. The best answer is an obscure made-for-TV movie called Peter Benchley's Creature. 
I had nightmares for weeks about sharks dropping down from trees to get me, and Cabela's hasn't delivered that experience just yet. Mm. Who knows? Maybe these games get some kind of spiritual successor. Well then, all I gotta say is thank you all so much for coming by. And I'll see you all later. I'm gonna talk to Fable about this because this video is now an hour long because we couldn't stop gasping at how stupid this game was. So, I'll see you all later. Take care of yourselves, alright? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you like our stuff, and we'll see you later.